the first pick probably we've seen that coming but a selena and natalia is open and available for picking here for these guys for sure for sure you just mentioned all of the uh highly contested the heroes maybe save for the valier which has been banned out uh this is gonna be good uh, Ozoraveki on uh, the uh, Claude uh, would do wonders. It's a safe bet. I mean, usually these days, the cores are super spelt out, except for maybe when they go for an Esmeralda core. Uh, but that aside, this Claude is so hard to fail, especially with Kaja being banned out. There's very little that can really pin down um, Dexter's partner here, or the owner of Dexter, if you will. But yeah, nonetheless, there you go. We mentioned the Esmeralda picked up here by Evos, already committing to this uh again could still be up in the air whether this is the core or uh a side laner and they said no to the thumbs which i believe geek fam should pick up here nah uh, they're gonna be resorting into a basha and the thumbs yeah no counter no counter for the thumbs there you go they pick it up themselves solid i believe that's going to be zorn on the basha yeah they're trading it up uh they're trading up the information game for a solid side laner the other Reliable side laners that Evos can pick up here would be either an X Borg or a Jawhead or get a Gushin. But that won't yeah. be for or for until the fourth and the fifth picks here for Evos because and if uh, they decide to pick up Gushin here, they would all automatically be telegraphing their uh, their move. Yeah, um, I'm now second guessing a Uranus pickup. Ooh, I guess they're gonna roll the dice here. Uh, because the Basha here could stop the Uranus from regenerating if ever he does get on there. But I guess Basha's target is going to be elsewhere. So Evos is thinking it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the Uranus here. Solid side laner. Very, very independent uh, as we go into the second phase of bands here. So far, Evos still missing their core unless it is going to be the Esmeralda. And uh, on the other end, Geek Fam needs a good support. Uh, they have their frontliner. They got Basha. Ooh, nice cover up on the jaw head. Yeah, Geek Fam can choke out the cores. Oh, look at this though. Carry is open for taking here for Evos. They can uh, take Carry as their core if they are going to be running that, and that would and Carry would be able to at least shred down the armor or the HPs here of uh, Basha and Thumbs as well. And that is always crucial in terms of a big team fight because you automatically assume the Basha and Thams would be able to just sustain themselves in the team fights and provide a lot of coverage here for the team. They are going to be prioritizing mm -hmm. the Atlas though because they are lacking a solid tank. Yeah, good call on Geek Fam locking up that uh, Kufra. And I think I'd rather deal with an Atlas than a Kufra. The Kufra can really just catch you off guard uh, at such interesting angles. But an Atlas it doesn't care if you see it or not. It will get you. But then again, it's very honest. It, it comes at you at a solid pace. And to some extent, it's more telegraphed than a well-placed Tyrant's Rage. So I, I can understand. Now, Nomad, they flash us this Gushin. Oh! All right. Very lethal uh, last two picks here for Geek Fam with uh, the Gushin and the Farsa. So they've got a solid amount of range here. Um, actually... Just amazing range. Dominus on uh, the Agushan, able to just move around as he pleases. Uh, but their only real burst targets here would be Selena so far. Uh, and not feeding the Granger pickup. But that Granger does provide a lot of long-range uh, engagements here. And there, there you go. Just like uh, what we mentioned, Carrie's going to be uh, more effective in this uh, lineup by Evos SG because they have their Uranus, which is... I guess I could say technically a soft counter against Carry because Uranus is inherently tanky and he and Carry mm -hmm. can just shred down the HPs real fast. But it's going to be a battle of item spikes here, and whoever reaches their item spikes work uh, first will uh, get game number one. And now we will be focusing our attention on the Claude and on the Carry. Mm -hmm. With that being said, uh, I gotta ask you, which one you feeling, man? Evos or Geek Fam? Hmm. I'm leaning towards Evos here just because it's the safer lineup. But Geek Fam also has a lot of merits here going into the going into the matchup. Yeah, they got the thumbs which can really out sustain Esmeralda for uh, most part. Gushin's gonna be in the back lines trying to uh pick up carry or 
I don't know, for the hell of it, try to uh, burst down Esmeralda if uh, Esmeralda isn't expecting uh, Gusha mm -hmm. from coming in. And the Farsa will be the safest long-distance engagement that Geek Fam has. So mm -hmm. there's, still, uh, there's still a lot of merit here for these guys. And moving into the game, it's anybody's game. I'm still going to be leaning towards E-Boss here, though. Yeah, I uh, will agree because really that Gushan pick, it's still 50-50 to me, man. There's, there's so many things that could go wrong with uh, the Gushan pickup. But uh, again, fortune favors the bold. And if uh, Geek Fam can ride this out, maybe they can catch Evos off guard. So here we go. In mid, they throw out Arts first for the wave clear. While Rumpel and Zorn go ahead and peek into the orange buff and let it go. I think they just feel that Arts uh, needed a little bit of backup as uh, Zorn gets a couple of stuns there on to JPL. Interestingly here, it's Rumpel on the Baksha and Zorn on the uh, Farsa. So they're showing a little bit of uh, flexibility here. Zorn, we're usually seeing uh, as a great, great tank player uh, now on that Farsa. Oh my god, Nomad, he must took both Little Wanderers. That's double walkie grass. Double walkie gra grass and double the EXP and gold that they're going to be getting. It's uh, it's not big, but it's still significant that they uh, took those away. Gold and EXP is important in this game now more than ever. Since it is going to be uh, Potato and Ozoraveki trying to uh, hit their early game power spikes. Hmm. You know what? Looking at it now, Ozorveki, he wants to just... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I just noticed he was on a bounty hunter. Dominus, you're going to be seeing a lot of trouble. And he goes down in bottom. First blood, big three-man rotation. I was expecting it to be four. Usually, we see four uh, players committed to such a big move. But I guess uh, they have other plans up top. Potato and JPL putting so much pressure on Arts. But look at this now. The fight continues down bottom. Oh, yeah, Ozuraveki Ozura in a bad spot. Uh, will not be able to be MI out of there, but Soul's going to be forced back. Going to be enough. It's going to be enough. Barely makes it out unscathed. Even in the mid lane, Zorn will try to make it out of the stick oh! But no birdies available here for Zorn. And the Evos here uh, just using the fundamentally more sound and safe lineup to apply pressure on uh, essentially this, this fragile... Uh, set of heroes that Geek Fam has fielded in this game one. So far, less than three minutes in, and we're already two kills ahead. And look at this. There's a fight yeah, in Rumble. Geek Fam's side of the jungle. Oh, Rumpel! Prop in as a rejuvenate, but they get hit with the Fatal Link. That's a two for none here. Four Evos SG, and then Arrow hits Arts. Arts not going to get away. That's a double, I believe, for JPL. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be a 0-5 advantage for EVOS SG. Yeah, already three minutes of the game, we're seeing a 2,000 gold advantage here. And that is all thanks to the fact that uh, EVOS SG is, just like what you said, a fundamentally sound lineup. And they will be able to secure this turtle too without any problems. So low on HP almost gets Ooh. taken out by Dominus, though. Manages to no. make it out and unscathed. No minus. <laughs> He misses uh, the execute. I, I see he clicked it, and then I guess it didn't finish off soul. Man, it's... Um, is it pressure? I guess. I mean, this is Geek Fam we're talking about. Uh, we've seen them come back from worse situations. And so far, uh, one turret taken up top, and Arts is just, you know, clogging up that hole in uh, the Geek Fam ship as we speak. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough life here for Ozoraveki, but... Some silver lining here, a little bit of a hope. He hasn't died, so it, it's not bad, but it's not good just yet. And there's still, there's still signs of life here. Do, um, Dominus needs to make sure that he can go for the proper assassinates. And I, speaking of assassinates, they're gonna try to go for Soul. There goes the sword spike. Sword spike's not the comp. The full combo is not gonna be enough. But here comes the rest of Evos to back him up. Goes for the fatal links. Catches Dominus, and he's gonna be paying the price for that. Zorn and the others are gonna have to walk away here. Uh, JPL in the back lines uh, will try to assassinate somebody there, but it's not gonna oh. be successful. Zorn's gonna get taken out as well. That's a two for none here. 
And the push continues. Rumpel taking quite a bit of damage from Potato alone. That's Potato alone with an orange buff on him. And this carry is sitting at a 2 0 1. Uh, under five minutes. You know what? It feels like we're at least approaching 10 with the way Evos has been playing. And oh, here we go. Nice jump in. JPL taking quite a bit of damage. Pokemon looking low as well. There's an arrow thrown out by JPL to stop the bleeding as Soul is going to disengage Arts popping the Cotterant Inferno. And that's going to be a skirmish canceled here. All right. Zorn wants more. Eons recall canceled. Uh, that's not a good bush to do it in, man. And he goes off. All right. So far, that could have gone so much worse for Evos. So this is the best that they could have done is to not have gotten killed. And they just go on and move to the next objective, which is the turtle. And wow, Potato taking it solo. And Carrie doesn't even uh, need to join the, uh, the team fight just yet. Potato will just have to focus on farming up. Speaking of uh, farming up, Dominus is slowly being farmed here by EVOS SG, uh, currently sitting at a 0, 2, and 0, almost uh, also getting caught there. JPL, Abyssal Arrow, and the aggression will not secure anybody. But yeah, oh, Carrie, Carrie just needs to play it safe. Uh, just keep farming, oh. just keep pushing the turrets. This is how Ooh. they're winning the game. They're just playing it fundamentally sound, just like how fundamentally sound their composition is. Mm-hmm. And again, the gambit uh, on the Dominus Gushin, man. I, it, again, it's such a coin flip, right? At this point, seven minutes, about, you're supposed to see at least a couple of kills on the Gushin, right? As soon as he hits level four, uh, the, the Incandescence is supposed to at least confirm a kill or two. But, you know, Geek Fam here, they struggle to, to at least score one, right? And they're down seven. So with that being said, especially with the front line of Evos SG, that is Eon, Soul, and Pokemon, I find it hard to, to be Dominus at this point. Yeah, and what is Dominus at right now? He doesn't have his uh, concentrated energy yet. He doesn't have a Calamity Reaper even just yet. Uh -huh. He's not going to be a much of an impact Ooh. in the team fights. And as I say that, a team fight is breaking out. Nice Fatal oh. Links. Uh, connecting onto two, but the damage output is not there just yet. Carry Potato is going to be in the back lines. Rumple's going to melt. JPL going to oh. dive in. Onto Dominus will be absorbing that turret aggro, but it doesn't matter. That is a two for three trade. A positive, a positive trade here by Evos SG as well as a turret going down. Potato should be able to take care of Zorn and Arts, but instead going to be playing it safe because the top, uh, the mid lane turret is going to be the next agenda here on their list. Uh-huh. It's uh, three for two. And oh my god, Pokemon just jumps on Zorn. What are you doing? Don't you dare pop the Feather Death Strike in my face. Uh, they turn it into a two for four. Uh, plus two turrets. Great conversion here by Evos SG. Now they're up about 10,000 gold, if I'm not mistaken. Just under maybe. And Dominus finishes off Soul down bottom. Okay, I think Soul stayed a little too long there, uh, or I guess with, with the help of Ozoraveki. But key to that big trade was that they took down Ozoraveki. All right, Ozoraveki not having a good time already, uh, could not farm up as well as the potato. Being killed here, it, it, it's such a great factor uh, to pin down Geek Fam even more in this 8 minute, 30 second game. They're being pinned down on all fronts, they're stuck with their inhibitor turrets, and they need to find a way to push out. They need to contest the Lord, though. That's a very valuable objective, because any HPs being uh, ticked down from the turrets would just mean disaster for them, because uh, Potato can just really split push without any problems with what uh, Potato currently has. Endless Battle, Wind Talker, transitioning into a potentially going to go for a uh, Golden Staff, and quite a few or or actually hmm well, let's go back there like we'll get back there when we can because evos sg is going to be sieging up this bottom lane turret i'm gonna try to man move forward to the mid lane they're just keeping the pressure up 30 seconds away from lord and this is uh i believe the right decision to just stay in the lanes Take up what's left of uh, their jungle. And oh, wait, JPL gets caught oh, out by one charge. 
Aeon with the one man fade the links, potato finishing off Zorn and Ozoraveki doing his best here, but Rumpel is shredded down by Potato and up next is gonna be Arts. That's a triple for the carry and Dominus left alone with Ozoraveki, neither of which in great form to defend. And they're going to penetrate down bottom. That's a third down. Ozoraveki up next here. Oh, you see that? Just two shots from Potato is going to hurt that bad. Dominus bursted down here by Pokemon, and it's over just like that, Nomad. Game one goes to Evos SG. Man, it's, it, it just looks like Evos SG wants to win it more than Geek Fam. And this is all thanks to the sound lineup that we've been 